हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ प्रकाश लवांडे श्री तिलोक जैन हायर सेकेंडरी विद्यालय पाथर्डी स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट केमिकल काइनेटिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री व्हिच डील्स विथ स्टडी ऑफ रेट ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन एंड द मैकेनिजम ऑफ द केमिकल रिएक्शन स्टूडेंट्स इन केमिकल काइनेटिक्स very important term that is rate of reaction that is going to discuss in detail in the particular video now what information do you get from the rate of chemical reaction so if you know the rate of chemical reaction then you can measure how fast the reaction occurs or how fast the reactants are going to convert into the product so this information you will get from the rate of chemical reaction and therefore to know details of rate of chemical reaction that is very important task now as you know that this rate of chemical reaction rate of chemical reaction it depends upon two important factor the first factor that is nothing but the concentration okay so concentration of reactant is very important part in deciding the rate of reaction remember here both the parameter that means the concentration of reactant as well as the concentration of product that we have to assume here not only the reactants both you have to assume because both these concentration terms they are going to change with time and therefore the second parameter that is also very important that is nothing but the time so these two parameter determine the rate of any particular reaction so you can write you can write what do you mean by rate what do you mean by the rate so we write the re expression rate of reaction is equal to is equal to change in change in concentration of of reactant change in concentration of reactant or product upon 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 time taken upon time taken for this particular change okay so this will give you the rate of reaction from this you can define also what do you mean by the rate of reaction so what is the definition this particular expression is nothing but the definition so what is the definition so it is the so i will write here it is the change it is the change in concentration of reactant or product or product per unit time so this will gives you the rate of that particular reaction okay the change in concentration of reactant or product per unit time so this will give you the rate of reaction because all these things they are based on this particular graph because whenever any chemical reaction proceed so let's say you have any chemical reaction a gives b so this is one general chemical reaction is there okay so as uh, i will plot here the graph between the graph between concentration against time okay so this is that general reaction a gives b now here the concentration is in 
mole per liter okay and time is in second so for this reaction for this reaction as you know that in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning when time t is equal to 0 in the beginning when time t is equal to 0 concentration of reactant is maximum and concentration of reactant decreases with the time so this is the curve for reactant so before the start of reaction concentration of reactant is maximum and as reaction proceed what happen to the concentration of reactant concentration of reactant decreases with the time whereas at the beginning when time t is equal to 0 concentration of product concentration of product is zero but as time proceed concentration of product increases so this is the curve for product so what happen during the course of reaction concentration of reactant decreases and whatever amount of concentration of reactant decreases that is converted into product and therefore for the product curve is like this and therefore i have written here what is the rate of reaction so it's a change in concentration of reactant or product per unit time required for that particular change so this is what about the rate of general chemical reaction in general but now suppose i have to uh, define the rate of reaction with respect to reactant only so for that purpose now i can write rate of reaction rate of reaction with respect to reactant so what happened to the rate of reaction with respect to reactant so with respect to reactant on the basis of that curve what can you say on the basis of this curve you can say the concentration of reactant decreases with the time so then i will write here the decrease what i write here the decrease decrease in concentration of reactant upon time taken so instead of change in concentration now with respect to reactant i will write the decrease in concentration of reactant upon time taken now remember we are talking about the general chemical reaction where a gives b okay so concentration of a decreases with the time that means here i will write delta so delta stands for change in concentration of reactant your reactant is a your reactant is a upon the time taken that is delta t now a very important thing here you have to mention is that you have to put the negative sign here while writing the rate of reaction with respect to reactant and the significance of this negative sign is that concentration of reactant decreases with the time this negative sign does not mean that the rate of reaction is negative the rate of reaction for any chemical reaction with respect to reactant or with respect to product it is always positive how does it become positive because in case of reactant if you see the change in concentration of a with the time so what happen how to find out delta delta a that is final concentration minus initial concentration okay and this delta a value that is found to be negative here that means the change in concentration of reactant is always negative so this is the point that you should notice here so this is very important point so i will explain this with the help of this curve also okay so let us say you are this curve okay now here 
see here let's say you are this particular time at this particular time at this particular time when time t is equal to t1 and this is time t is equal to t2 so when time t1 and t2 are there so here the concentration of reactant a1 and here the concentration of final concentration become a2 okay now here obviously the final concentration a2 here it is found to be less than initial concentration a1 and therefore if it is lower and this one is a higher so what happen this automatically delta a become negative and if delta a is negative and this negative that becomes positive so overall the rate of reaction is positive so remember here two important points the first point the rate of reaction the rate of reaction is always always positive okay the rate of reaction is always positive with respect to reactant or with respect to product also because final concentration is less initial concentration is more and therefore a2 minus a1 that becomes negative and this negative and negative becomes positive that means rate of reaction is positive and important point here one more important point here the change in concentration of reactant the change in concentration of reactant is always is always negative change in concentration of reactant it is always negative so these are two important points that you should notice while writing the rate of reaction with respect to reactant understood now we'll proceed further rate of reaction with respect to product so rate of reaction rate of reaction with respect to product now what happened with respect to the product to the to the rate of reaction as you know that uh, from the curve the product concentration increases with the time so i will write here increase increase in concentration of product increase in concentration of product upon time taken okay and for this particular general reaction concentration of product increases here that means if you are graph like this okay so for the product the graph is something like this like this so this is the product okay now here your product is b so here increase in concentration of b so i will write the change in concentration of b upon time taken that is delta t okay now here the so any concentration term so when time t1 and t2 so what happen when time t1 is there your concentration b1 and when your time t2 the concentration is b2 and what about delta b here so delta b is equal to b2 minus b1 so b2 is always higher here than b1 and therefore this comes out to be positive this comes out to be positive here that means here the overall sign for the rate of reaction with respect to product it is positive okay so here again two important point the rate of reaction always positive but the change in change in concentration of product the change in concentration of product is always always positive so it's always positive and therefore obviously rate become positive so that's the difference between while expressing the rate of reaction with respect to reactant and product while expressing the rate of reaction with respect to reactant we always put negative sign but here not necessary to write negative sign because concentration of product it increases with the time so this is what we express the rate of reaction with respect to reactant and with respect to product now we'll see the 
यूनिट ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन यूनिट ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन सो ऑब्वियसली एज यू नो द रेट डिपेंड्स अपॉन दीज टू पैरामीटर चेंज इन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अपॉन टाइम टेकन सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज इन मोल पर लीटर मोल्स मोल पर लीटर एंड टाइम इज इन सीयर सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज इन मोल पर लीटर ओके एंड यूअर अकॉर्डिंग टू पर यूनिट टाइम दैट मीन्स मोल पर लीटर पर सेकेंड मोल पर लीटर पर सेकेंड इज द यूनिट ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉरी यूनिट ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट इज मोल पर लीटर पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज वॉर द रिएक्शन वेर डू यू हैव द सोल्यूशन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज एक्सप्रेस नाउ इफ यू आर द गैसियस रिएक्शंस इन दैट केस द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ गैसियस स्पीसीज दैट इज एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर पार्शियल प्रेशर सो दैट मीन्स इट इज एक्सप्रेस इन एटमोस्फियर सो इन दैट केस एज यू एज यू नो दैट रेड बिकम्स एटमोस्फियर ओके दैट इज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन पार्शियल प्रेशर फॉर गैसियस रिएक्शन एंड हियर यूर टाइम इन सेकेंड सो द यूनिट बिकम एटमोस्फियर पर सेकेंड ओके सो दिस इज वॉट अबाउट द यूनिट्स ऑफ रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन सो वॉट आर द टू यूनिट्स द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज मोल पर लीटर पर सेकेंड बिकॉज टाइम इज इन सेकेंड एंड द अनदर वन इज फॉर द गैसियस केमिकल रिएक्शन द यूनिट इज एटमोस्फियर पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज वॉट अबाउट द टू डेज लेक्चर इन द प्रीवियस नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी वॉट आर द वेज ऑफ एक्सप्रेसिंग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोल्यूशन टिल देन थैंक यू